Capricorn, I apologize. I was halfway into your reading and the video cut off. Listen, I'm dealing with someone that's in the entertainment industry. Um, and you pulled on a Luke, um, in the New Testament, it was Luke, and I don't remember the chapter number, but it had something to do with the Passover, like right around the time that, um, Jesus was betrayed by Judas. Um, yeah, this is somebody who's in the entertainment industry. So this is a very specific message, <clears throat> but there's someone that you're working with that is foul, foul as fuck. Um, you do have protection around you, but you need to look into copyright, something to do with copyrights. Um, I got halfway through your reading, not even halfway, about right in the beginning with the tarot spread and it cut out. But I did see a ruthless, heartless bitch, cold-blooded bitch. Um, whatever you're giving in the present energy, people are coming and they are very defensive and uh, guarded. And whatever you bring, these people love. They're willing to pay more money for it. And then... And the forecast, I see you jumping into something. You have a lot of people interested in, they want to invest in you. Um, Seven of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. These people want to invest in you, but I see you making a foolish mistake and jumping into something very toxic and the foreseeable forecast. So uh, just to touch on it a little bit, I do apologize that the video cut off. Um, I do see, I think I'm talking to a male. If not, you're just a, a very strong leader. And you are a manifester. You have all the resources you need. Yeah, there are these, uh, and these offers that are coming in in the recent past. Um, yeah, hard decisions, you know. Um, and I do see you protecting yourself. Um, and here's this lady again, so straddling the fence here. Here's this bitch again, cold hearted bitch. And she's happy with whatever, uh, she has and she'll take some of your, all of yours too. She'll cut you in a quick second. There's a hard decision here about money. Um, Challenging the growth, challenging the generosity, challenging the resources and generosity here. Straddling the fence. There's a lot of challenge cards here. Even in your recent past, I see people coming very interested in you. I see you straddling the fence and keeping your guard up. And then I see this cold-hearted bitch here. Wish fulfillment with this cold-hearted motherfucker. There's a test here. The test is extremely hard. I don't know if this person's been very generous with you and up until this point. Um, very kind, supportive. Yeah, it's like um, it's something. There's a test here, and it's going to be hard for you. Because this person's been so kind and generous and a supporter of yours. Yeah. Same bitch. Let me tell you something. She's uh, protecting herself. Her, she has self-interest at heart here. What's best for her? Her wish fulfillment. And that and she'll cut you in a quick second. You won't even see it coming. Mm -mm. You won't even see it coming. No, you won't. No, you won't even see it coming. It's a challenge for you. I see all the challenges. Two of Wands, Two of Swords. You straddle in this fence for a bit. But there's something here. Like, you know to protect yourself from this lady. You know to protect yourself from this woman. She's cold, but she's been by herself a long time. She's happy that way, too. She's quite fulfilled. But there's a test here, and it's really, really hard for you. And it's like you're not going to see it coming because this woman's been so generous and supportive to you and kind. Don't best believe she'll cut you in a quick second for her self-interest. Let me tell you something. You won't see it coming. Um, you'll be hit so fucking fast, you won't know what hits you. 
And it'll be like, what the fuck? You're going to feel like, what the fuck? What happened? You're going to be in a daze. You're going to see stars. Yeah, there's an offer coming in the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. um, whatever offers have come in the past, they just weren't up to your standards. It wasn't, a, wasn't enough money. Mm -mm. Wasn't enough money. I do agree with it. It wasn't enough money. Whatever these people were offering you wasn't enough money. Mm -mm. Here it is again. The devil. This lady, best believe, I don't know who the female is that's around you. She's a cold-hearted bitch. She's only looking out for her self-interest here. There's a test, and you're about to see what she was really up to with all her kindness and generosity and how supportive she's been. She's out to, for herself. The challenge is understanding the devil's schemes because this person has buttered you up. With liquor, drugs, whatever the fuck she's buttered you up with. And she's telling you to leave these other people out in the cold, that it's not enough money for you. Leave them out in the cold. There's a copyright issue with you as well. I'm telling you. And if there's been cyberbullying, this bitch is at the at the root cause of it. If you're wondering where she where the where is uh where is this person getting their information, it's her. You would never suspect this person, nor G Jesus it had Judas, honey. It was um Luke, whatever that was in the New Testament. He wouldn't have suspected Judas either. I mean, he did, but he didn't. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, there is an offer coming in that is heaven sent here. It's everything you ever wanted. The offer that's coming in, it's going to seem small. This is a small invitation. But when you accept this um, meeting, lunch, brunch, dinner, breakfast, let's meet over coffee. There's an offer coming in that is going to feel heaven sent. It's going to be everything you ever wanted. Yeah, um, these offers that are coming in, they're not enough money. And it's like, leave these other offers out in the cold. They don't understand uh, what you're about almost. Mm -mm. And they never will. They will never see your point of view. They will never see your perspective. Mm-hmm. This is a legal matter. Something's going to turn into a legal matter here. Yeah. You're going to learn today. Whoever this offer that's coming in for financial resources is heaven sent. And it's um, an offer to work together. You're going to learn a lot from whoever this is that's doing this offer with you. You're going to learn a great deal of information. person wants to work with you they want to cooperate with you and they're willing to cooperate with the money as well it's almost like name your price you need to watch this motherfucker here she's a snake this person that's been real real kind and generous and supportive she's a fucking snake and you're gonna see the truth about her soon enough you haven't seen it up until this point mm -mm. you're about to Mm -hmm. She's only interested in her own self-interest. She's cold-hearted. Mm -hmm. She's looking out for herself. She's protecting her own best interest. Yeah. Um, straddling the fence on some degree here. Yeah, with these offers. Um, it's almost like you're not... Maybe she's not showing you the offers that are coming in. She's not showing you the offers that are coming in. She's telling you that whatever offers are coming in are too small. Mm -mm, you don't understand either. You don't get it, but uh, you will. You will. Yeah, you're going to get it soon enough. Yep, you'll understand eventually. This person was trying to end your profession on some level, but there's too much protection here on your uh, there's too much divine intervention here I see 
really working hard. Really, really working hard here. Yeah, there's a new cycle on the horizon for you. You need to go to this meeting. It's a very small invitation. Uh-huh. Yeah. You need to, in this cycle, you need to really look at your options. Study these options. Which one is going to be the best for you? You need to get copyrighted or pub. I don't know what it is legally that you need to do to protect yourself, but you need to. Again, with the mortality, I can't escape it here. Disappointed, not happy. In the future here, I see someone very disappointed. You've worked really, really hard for this. And then there's an ending here. But the plot twist. Whatever this person did, if someone passed, someone died, there's something that you don't know. You're still grieving it, though. You're grieving it. There's something you don't know. I see you looking into it. Looking into it. Like, what could have happened? I'm so disappointed. This ending, there's something you don't know about this ending. Something's big old cover up here. Something's been a big illusion about why things have ended. mortality there. Judgment. Judgment. Um, this cycle here is going to be a lot of quick karma. Quick karma in this in this cycle it's quick karma. Things don't stay hidden long. Mm -mm. Yeah, um, whatever you don't, you didn't know you were unsure of, the truth comes out very, very fucking quickly. And you're not happy about what you learn right now in the present energy. Mm -mm. You were just very confused and you sat around and you thought about the what could have happened. And it's like you were in denial about the truth, but the truth hits you so hard and you're just so... Devastated, unhappy. And it's like now in the foreseeable future, all we can kind of do is uh, pout because something's ended. But there's, um, there's something you don't know about this ending. Something's really, really hard for you to accept. But the truth is right in front of your face. You just need to look a little harder. There's something being done in the dark. Yeah. There's something being done in nighttime. Something about night. You need to look into something at night. There's something you need to, I don't know if you need to check someone's phone at night. Again with this, I saw this in the last one. Um, there's someone here that's very competitive with you. You're very disappointed. In the foreseeable future, you're very disappointed. There's another gentleman here and something has ended. There's some secrets here that you just haven't come out yet. And there's some secret competition here. There's some secret competition here. This person talks a lot of shit. You know, very judgmental over you. And um, there's, if you've been cyber bullied, yeah, there's, uh, there's a source of the cyber bullying. Mm -hmm. You're going to see, I don't know if you need to look at emails or something. I don't know, but you need to look into all these other offers that came in. And it's a load of other offers, a load, a shit ton. 
you didn't know about it, but you're going to see the truth. And whatever you see is going to make you very unhappy. Mm -hmm. You're going to need to reach out to these people and heal whatever it is that you were not aware of. You're going to need to maintain your temper as well, because I see you not having a lot of nice things to say when you, when this shit comes out about why things have ended and why they, why you were being disappointed. You're going to need to reach out to people and mend. I don't know how you're going to do it, but you need to mend fences here. That was in your finance section. Um, you got somebody working for you that, uh, I don't know if they were stealing your work, um, keeping the money for themselves. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll move into love. We'll move into love. Mm -hmm. I see y'all not really getting along. Um, I think when you guys try to work together to build things, you guys don't see eye to eye on how things, like if you're trying to build a furniture set from Ikea, you guys are, aren't able to really work together with each other. Okay. Oh, God. Communication coming in about a home that somebody's looking at. Yeah. Somebody's looking at a home and there's communication coming in about the home that someone's really looking at. You got your eye on this home, this residence. Yeah, you absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. Somebody here does. If this is your baby mama or whoever it is that you are seeing, they are in love with this home. Mm -hmm. Absolutely adore it. They absolutely adore it. Yeah. Communications coming in about a home that you had your eye on. And there's a female energy here that just absolutely adores this home. It lights her up. It makes her the happiest she's ever been. See communication coming in to a home. Someone's spying on someone's spying on someone's um, relationship. They're spying on this person's home. They're spying on the messages that are coming in and out of the home. On this relationship. There's a turning point that we hit because there's a betrayal. It makes me feel like somebody gets up in the middle of the night and they check someone's phone. There's a turning point because we're betrayed. Yep, big ass fight happens between you and the baby mama. Um, I feel like you might get woken up out of sleep for this one. Communication comes into someone's home and it's almost like if you were asleep, someone checks the text messages or the email or what. And the turning point of this huge betrayal and someone gets fucking blindsided here because this person, uh, baby mama here, just trips, flips the fuck out. Yeah, she does. She flips the fuck out. Something's going to come to light about this emperor. I don't know if she realizes you're married or what, but you two have kids together. Mm -hmm. She trips out. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's a betrayal and there's a sudden loss. I mean, oh, my God. This person just trips out. They grieve immediately. This is a female grieving immediately. The minute they realize they've been betrayed, she immediately goes into grief. Oh, yeah. And she grows very cold with you. I 
feel like furniture will be rearranged and this is going you two will not see eye to eye ever since this has happened you're not going to see eye to eye for quite some time she's going to have her like if you two are still living in the same house you're basically roommates this woman flies off the handle very fucking easily with you she's got a lot of questions about where it is you're going um if you even need to go to CVS, she wants to know why. I don't see this changing either. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's almost like um, this is why things haven't moved forward. This is what you've been doing. My intuition told me this is what you've been doing. You've been in and out, in and out. This is a hard message. This ain't much of a love reading. Yeah. Yeah. Something's going to come out about where, where this emperor's been going, where the masculine's been going, and who he's been working with, what he's been working, who he's been working with. Who he's been cooperating with. You may need to leave. The, there's a masculine here that may, whenever this comes out, she's going to fly into a rage. Understand that she's grieving and she's growing physical. This is a woman that will beat you up. She's like a time bomb. You may need to flee the residence and, you know, cooperate with someone else. Your mama, Tyrone, I don't know. You better figure it out though. See if we have any advice. Mm -hmm. One of these other options you was keeping, you go fly to one of these other options. You better consider your options and pick one and go there. That's what I felt anyway. Uh, you're gonna have you have other options on the back burner. Pick one and go there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've been doing this a long time and you've been hiding your hiding your phone you've been guarding yourself for a long time you've been very uh, defensive for a very long time protecting yourself for a very long time protecting your yeah yeah your behavior is being judged right now Prince Charles it's charming. You come in like you're willing to love, but you are emotionally unavailable. And you're being judged right now for the emotional unavailable. It's like you do care about this person, but you're not ready to give it all. You're not. You're not ready to give it all. There's a lot of care, and you are genuine. And a lot of things that you do, the actions you do take are genuine. But there's something about you where you're just not ready to do go the whole way. And there's a bottom dollar here. This is the judgment. You know, it's like, I love you. I'm willing to do this much for you. But that's about as far as I'm willing to go. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of talk about it. About what the final judgment is. Yep. It's like, this is it. This is what it is. Somebody's just going to tell them what it is. This is, you know, I love you. I care about you. But here, let's talk about it. You need to talk about it, how you really feel. Because somebody's just not emotionally available. Um, you need to talk about, you know, the overall resources and where this is going to go from here. You know, if that has to do with children, um, what, you know, where do we go from here? Mm 
Yeah. There's a new cycle. Uh, you you got a very challenging uh, time ahead of you, Capricorn. You got a couple new cycles going on with your financial life and your love life. I don't see the tower. I don't feel like you're going to be devastated over this at all. I feel like I'm talking to a masculine. I don't see you being devastated, but I do see judgment coming. And it's like, listen, I do care about you. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about where this is going to go in the future. What, what would you like to see happen? You know, this is what it is. My cards are on the table and there's a new cycle coming uh, out of it. Yeah, it's like, you know, here's what it is. We can we can talk about how we move forward and how we can be a happy family. Yeah, there's a new cycle here, but it's challenging. And it's like, let's talk about it. You know, how do we move forward? How do we grow? How does this go? Yeah, somebody's making you put up or shut up. Yep. Someone here is being asked to put up or shut up because you have been Prince Charming in and out. Maybe you two aren't exclusive and you've just been dating for a bit, but that's over. Someone is making you put up or shut up and it's like either we're going to do this and go into this commitment and invest in something real. Mm -hmm. There is a new cycle here. I mean, and I do see you talking about being a happy family and being in a committed relationship and being invested. Yeah. New baby. There's also perhaps a baby coming into this. And this new cycle... And being disappointed. There's a challenging new love beginning. Um, maybe it's just because of how it started. It didn't get off on the right foot. If this isn't a baby, it is just it didn't get off on the right foot. It's a very challenging new start in this, you know, it's not been the best of a love story here because there's disappointments, you know. I'm very disappointed. Yeah. Um, yeah, it could be a baby and there's a decision here to invest. You know, what are we going to do? I'm not ready for a baby. I'm disappointed. I'm grieving. Maybe there might be a possible loss of a child. You know, but we need to make a decision here whether we're going to continue what we're doing. Are we going to invest here in this or what? Can I get another one here on the two of wands? It's going to come, if there, if this is not a new baby, it's just, listen, there's been a lot of disappointments in this new love story. Okay. I, I, feel, I feel strongly that for a lot of you, this is a baby. Because I'm pulling the, you yeah, know, this is a mother. Yeah. A lot of you are just going to come up on this decision on whether or not to go forward with a pregnancy. Um, if not, it, it's just going, you know, you really care a lot about this person that you're seeing. Um, but you guys kind of got off on the wrong foot. And we need to have a serious talk about if you love this woman or not and if you're going to invest in her anymore. Okay. There's a judgment here on the building of something. Let's get the, uh, the advice. You know, where do we go from here? Are we going to continue to build this? Or are we going to continue to work together? Or what are we doing? Yeah, things are kind of at a standstill right now. And... Somebody's still just real in and out with the other one. There's no changes in this person's behavior. They're still kind of acting like a kid. 
you know, fly by night, fly by the seat of my pants. I kind of, you know, come and go as I please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's th those days are coming up. I'm sorry, but the judgment's here. You're going to have to make a decision or one will be made for you. Yep. Yep. And someone could walk away from you forever. I feel like I'm talking to a masculine. The judgment will be made in the near future and you risk losing it uh, with this person. And you're going to risk losing a uh, opportunity of a lifetime with the Ace of Pentacles. The judgment's here in the current energy. I see someone walking away. What are you walking away from? Everything. 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 You need to really, really reconsider this. Because I think if you're younger, this is, you know, fly by the seat of my pants like a fuckboy, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to call you names here, but that's just what I call the Knight of Wands. Judgment Day is here, and if this person walks out on you, it's going to be the best thing you ever lost. Not to say that things won't, you know, you, you when a door shuts, a new one opens. But I just think you're going to really regret this one. I think long and hard, Capricorn. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it. I hope you have a good one, and I hope that helps you. Take care.